I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we return to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're gonna look at how to build a pop-up form that looks pretty good and uh, you know that you can use, that users cannot bypass and things like that, and uh, have, with different options and ways that you can do it. And so without further ado, let's get to our pop-up form in Microsoft Access. Need help or coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay, so there's a storm raging outside and all of the roads were washed out. And I could not make it to the office today, but I wanted to do a quick video uh, for you guys. And I'm, so I'm doing it at home here. And uh, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a new form and uh, I want to make a pop-up form that is custom and you know not a message box like we did in previous episodes. But I want to make a, a pop-up form that sort of has the nice look and feel that I want, and I don't want it to have all the extra stuff on it. And so, um, and I don't want users to be able to bypass it. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to create, and I'm just going to take a blank form here. You could do this with a, a form that has, you know, a record set, you know, uh, attached to it, but you don't have to have that either. And what I want to do is I'm going to take this form and I'll go to design view here. And you can see this is sort of like the default size and I'll make it a bit smaller. And now one of the things that you'll that you might want to do um, before we even do anything on a form like this is we're going to create a way for us to get out of it. Uh, because uh, once we start locking things down a little bit, it might not be so easy to 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 get out of it. And so, uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll grab off of our form design here. I'll go to controls, and I'm going to grab a button, and uh, I'll just put a button on there. And uh, I guess uh, you I'll cancel the wizard there, and I'll just say uh, close. So that we have a way of getting out of our uh, out of our form once we sort of lock things down a little bit. And I'll go to properties and I'll call this button. You'll go in the other tab, and uh, you can give it a name. So I'll call it I'll call it CMD close. And uh, and then I'm gonna on the event here. I'm gonna say on click. I'll click the ellipsis and then the code builder. And there we go. So now you can see when I click the ellipsis, it created this subroutine here. And all I'm going to do in this is I'm going to say do command dot close. And then I'll go AC form. And then I'll say me dot name. And that's going to close the form that has, you know, the name. <laughs> It'll close me because I'm putting me dot name. You can also just put in quotes the name of your form there. And uh, and then you know I'll save it as uh, I'll save it as pop up form pop up form and then we can start getting into the the sort of cool stuff. So now if I if I save that and I and I open it in a form view, you'll notice that it opens sort of attached to all of this stuff here. Uh, you know the ribbon and everything. It sort of seems embedded. You can't really grab it or anything. And so um, we'll go back to our design, and uh, and this is where we can start, uh, you know, looking at different things. Now, typically uh, for this type of thing, you want to have a, a good caption, you know, um, you know, for whatever purpose you you're using this, you know, um, that's going to appear at the top. So if I save that and I go here, you'll see it appears on the tab there. But when we switch a couple other options, it's going to actually uh, show up in the toolbar, which is really cool too. Or I should say the title bar. Um, so the default view, you can leave it as single form. And then we're going to go down through all of these options here. And uh, we're going to say allow form view, yes. We're going to say allow uh, data sheet view, no. And we'll say no for layout view. Uh, we don't have any picture types. And uh, we can go all the way down to auto center and we'll put a yes for that. And uh, we'll say auto resize is going to be no. And uh, fit to screen will be no. 
And I'll scroll down a little bit here. Because this is where we get into the border style and stuff like that. So the sizable border style is the one that sort of, well, I can show you. Um, uh, you might see it on here or not. Oh, because it's not popped up yet. But um, you can see the border style is sort of that. It's got the sort of ripple on it. Um, whereas what we want is we're going to take the thin border style. And, uh, and then we'll take the record selectors as no. Navigation buttons, no, because that's going to get rid of all that stuff that's attached to the default form. And, uh, and then we'll say no for dividing lines. And we don't want to have any scroll bars on this, so we're going to put neither. And we'll even take the control box in this case, which is the, uh, the control box is the, uh, it's got like the minimize and, and, and the, the close button in it, on it. And we want to be able to remove that stuff in case we want a particular pop-up that the user can't really get out of. And that's uh, something that we can build here. And so in this case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say control box no and close button no, because we put a we did put a close uh, button of our own. And then the min and max, uh, there will be none. Um, so that this is going to, what it's going to do is it's going to create a form that uh, that has very few options for the user to do things. And uh, that's kind of what we want to do uh, when we want to control uh, control the user uh, sort of interaction. And so what I'll do here is I'm going to go to the other um, tab. And now what we're going to do is we're going to choose this pop-up and we're going to say yes. And that's going to give us a pop-up. And um, now if I save that before I you know, finish up here. Now, when I click this button, you'll see now we've got a pop-up, a nice sort of pop-up form. It's, you know, it doesn't have anything that I can, you know, click to get out of it. Um, uh, and uh, well, at current, I can go back and I can, you know, go back to my database here and you can see I can operate things, you know, my menus and things like that, but we're going to shut that off here too. And uh, so, that's why we put the close button in there. Um, so now uh, we can go back to our design and uh, we can, we're going to set this modal, uh, the modal property to yes. And that's going to make it so that users, uh, they, they can't really bypass it. So um, if I go back here, you can see now, now if I I try to click on my menus or do something else in the application. I can't really do it. Um, the only thing I can do is work with the stuff that I have in my form here, and that's kind of what we want. So, um, so that's uh, that's something that uh, is very very handy there. And so you might have you know some other text boxes or things like that on your form. You know, like you know things that people have to fill out. You know, um, have you might have a couple text boxes, I don't know, and like, uh, you know, something something along those lines, maybe some more buttons for people to do things and, and uh, you know, uh, whatever, you know, like it could be uh, uh, okay or close or, you know, something like that. Uh, and so, so what that allows us to do is now we've got this form and and it's kind of got the style that we want. And when we open it, you know, it's got the, uh, the uh, uh, text boxes, or you could have a record set, or this could be a bound form. Um, and uh, users can't really get away from the form to do other stuff. Uh, they have to do, you know, go in and do what they need to do and click OK or click Close. Okay, and so uh, I wasn't totally happy with that size there, so I might go back and set the auto resize to yes. Uh, and uh, let's see here. If I, uh, you can play around with these settings and, uh, and, and find out what, what works for you. And in general, um, you'll find that different situations, you need different um, settings. Okay, so that's better. And if I close that and I go to... Um, you know, you can move your, you know, center things and stuff like that, make it look a little bit nicer. I don't, I won't really spend time on that here, 
but you can see that's the different um uh, that's how you can create the pop-up form now i can show you the the stuff that i didn't like um uh, i like this is called the thin border so you see how it's sort of it's nice and it sits above there that's how the uh um the uh the border style is uh sizable oops sizable and that's the default and, you know it doesn't look terrible i guess in this case it doesn't really look that much differently uh but in some cases it does look quite a bit different um and uh, uh but definitely uh, you can play around with that and and there's also, you know, the navigation buttons. If you do have, like I said, if you do have a record set in there, then, you know, the navigation buttons, that's that setting. Uh, but most times when I use a form like this, it's usually because I need a very specific thing from the user before they can continue. And I need them to, you know, select some options and they can't get out of it and that type of stuff. And so um, I'll set that one to no. Um, and... Uh, that is how you can create a pop-up form uh, in Microsoft Access. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to do a pop-up form in Microsoft Access. If you like what you saw today, please make sure to like the video and make sure to subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed yet. And if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time. Need extra technology help on your project? Make sure to check out the link in the description.